We've seen that insert into can be used to add new rows to a table, but you can also use update to change values in existing rows. So I'm going to go ahead and add, um, end that transaction. And any of the variables that I defined up here, um, the scope is limited to a batch. And a batch ends with go. So that means I can't use any of the variables um, from here on out unless I redeclare them and refetch them. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me just execute this select statement again. And actually, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. So here are the posts that I have available. And I see that Alice has ID, user ID 2. And so that's what I'm going to use in my update statement. So here's the first example of changing information in an existing row. Um, so Alice decides that her password is not secure and she wants to improve her password by changing it. And so she's using an application to do this. She's maybe a website. And she's going to go ahead and change her password. What the system is going to do is it's going to generate a new random salt and uh, then rehash her password using that new salt. So she's going to take the new password, new salt, create a new password hash. And then the values that are going to change in the MG user table are going to be the password hash and the salt. So the statement to do that is going to be update and then the name of the table, which is MG user. And then I'm going to set column value is going to be salt equals to some value. And password hash equals some value. And then if I were to just execute the statement as it currently stands, this would actually change all of the rows in MG user to have whatever value is here and whatever value is there. Um, but I only want to change the row for Alice, who has user ID 2. So I'm going to say where um, yeah, user ID equals two. So now for the salt value, I'll go ahead and grab the next random salt value and paste that in. And then for the password hash, I'm going to do, um, so here's a sec truly secure password along with the salt. So here's my new hash value. And if I start with select star from mg user to see what's there before the update. So I see Alice FBEF and 2B14. Then I execute the update. Do the select again. And now password hash starts with E189 and salt starts with 9CBC. So change the right values. Um, and it didn't affect Bob or Charlie. Now, another example of. Uh, changing a value is let's say that uh, um, Charlie decides based on the fact that he already has two down votes um, that he wants to change the content of his post. He wants to edit that. And so let's start with select star from MG post so we can find the one that Charlie wrote. So Here's the top level post that Charlie wrote where he asked people to go fund him. And that's the one that has two down votes, to, uh, actually three down votes and one up vote so far for a negative two score. And so we're going to update that table. And we're going to set the content equal to 
a new string. Sorry for my previous message. I edited out the bad stuff. So a conciliatory message. And then where post ID equals four. So here we're only setting the value of one column, so we don't need to use a comma separated list. And then if we look at the posts again, we see that there's the new value. And so based on the change to the message, Bob notices that Charlie has removed his objectionable content. And so Bob wants to change his downvote to an upvote. And instead of creating a new rating record and having two separate rating records, what we want to do is change the upvote value from the existing rating record. So here's the data from rating. And we're looking for the rating where the user ID is 1, which is Bob's ID, and the post ID is 4, and that's Charlie's posting. And we want to change that value from minus 1 to plus 1. So that's going to be update mg post uh, rating set upvote equal to positive one, where fk user ID equals one, and fk post ID equal four. Since fk user ID and fk post ID are a composite key for the rating table, I just specify both values in the where clause using and. And then if I check, I see the value for Bob's upvote on Charlie's post is now 1. So now let's say Alice wants to change her profile information, and she decides to change her email address. So that's going to be update mg profile, and we're going to set the email equal to bob at bob.com where user ID equals 2 which is Alice's user ID. Now if I try to execute this statement I actually get an error. Violation of unique key constraint blah 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 cannot insert duplicate key in object mg profile duplicate key value is bob at bob.com so basically just like when i was doing an insert when you do an update all of the integrity constraints come into play and sql will make sure that you're not violating any integrity constraints when you try to do either an insert or an update now on the other hand, if I change the email address to something like Alice2, that works perfectly fine. Similarly, if I try to clear out a piece of required information, so email is defined as not null, if I try to set it to null like so, that also doesn't work. Cannot insert the value null into column email column does not allow nulls, update fails. But if I try to set the first name, actually let me do last name. So Alice is like Cher, she just has one name. That works okay because last name takes null values.